there is one super nice thing Mexico City does every Sunday. They close the main avenue for cars and it's only open for runners and people biking and roller skating. Mexico City love to do sports and there is also a marathon and it's considered to be one of the hardest marathons in Latin America because of the high altitude Mexico City is located more than 2,000 meters above sea level and I like statistics so I checked and it said that usually more than 30,000 people participate in the marathon from over 60 countries and what do you guys think? What do Mexican people eat for breakfast? Many Mexicans like to eat outside. There are food stands from early in the morning until late at night. one interesting thing about Mexican uh, packages and uh, labels I want to show you. Mexico introduced these warning labels on the front of the packages and they started doing this in 2020 and the goal has been to provide Mexicans with information about what they eat and this is also the way how they want to fight obesity and uh, poor diet and all these warning labels warn about the excess of calories, sugars, trans fats and so on. So this way they want to reduce the consumption of ultra processed foods and kind of promote the traditional Mexican diet. By the way, a fun fact, Mexico City is considered to be the world's most connected city and it won the Guinness World Record for the number of connections uh, to the internet, to Wi-Fi all over the city. Apparently there are more than 21,000 spots all over the city where you can connect uh, to the internet for free and you can see signs like uh, everywhere. I'm going to take the metro back to the hotel but the metro in Mexico City is uh, interesting. About the metro system in Mexico City, it's the second largest metro system in America after New York. Imagine Mexico City is one of the biggest cities on the entire planet. There's a population of about 20 million people so imagine the amount of people it has to transport every day. I read statistics and it said that around 5 million people use the, the metro system every day. That's like the population of Slovakia. There are 12 lines and the metro in Mexico City rides on rubber wheels. Apparently that is because they brought the first carriages from France and it costs like 5 Mexican pesos so it's super uh, cheap. And there is also one more really cool thing and that is that the stations are also marked with pictograms so it's easier to remember where to get off 
Like for example, you get off at the guitar. If you come to the city center near the square, you're still able to see the remains of Tenochtitlan. Maybe you remember that from the previous video. This is more or less how Tenochtitlan looked like. The building on the left, that was a school. The main temple is in the middle in the back and there is also a court for the ball game. <laughs> 